Hi. <clears throat> this is nothing but nails again. I've been a little under the weather, <clears throat> but I want to come and do this video about this <clears throat> particular item that I got. <clears throat> and I got the inspiration from a lady on YouTube, um, DeWanda Burton. Barton, I'm sorry. And it's this Creative Options Grab and Go. And as you can see, I did leave the sticker on also so that um, you could see the original price. And it was like 40% off. And um, it's a wonderful item. For storing, <clears throat> stamping, for storing my stamping items. And right here I want to go into it. So that you can see um, what I have. I'll start from the bottom shelf. I'll come out with this one. I'm having to operate with one hand since I'm holding my camera <clears throat> with the other one. All right. With this one, I have... Oh, hold on. Now, I have some of my uh, stampers here. As you can see, and I also have the stamper heads. <clears throat> and also with this one, which this one has gotten a little stuff on it. Let's see if I can't get that off of there. And growing with brand names like Xbox, Cured, and Fisher Price. Go to Fingerhood.com to get low monthly pay. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> and in this compartment, as you know, these are, you know, you can do the sizing. These are my little square, rectangular stampers. These. Let me see, I'm going to shift this. Okay, now, these are the rectangular stampers. <clears throat> These are the two heads that came for the Bundle Monster stamper. I don't like these. I don't like these heads. <clears throat> They're like rubbery. <clears throat> and for me, they don't work very well. So I have All of these other stamper heads, which are very oh, squishy. All of these are the same type of material. <clears throat> then I have this one. <clears throat> and these are all of my... Actually, I was trying to say for these, the jelly stamper heads. This, these are my round jelly heads. And that's my Fabu nail stamper. And I'll go back over these. Maybe you can get a better shot. This is one of my favorites. 
and these two. I got this one off of eBay. And I ordered this one from somewhere. I can't even remember <clears throat> where I ordered it from. And that's the one I have in my first drawer. All right. Let me place this. Okay, and this one is the middle one. I have to stand and do this. <clears throat> Here are my This is a dupe of the Winstonia. Also this one, both of these came from eBay. And I have these two right here. And these are all of my um like um like the creative shop stampers. All of these are not creative shop though. The stamper heads. This is the actual creative shop stamper head. <clears throat> these two are from Moyu. And one of these is a Winstonia, and one is a Born, <clears throat> Born Pretty Store. And these are the holders <clears throat> for them. This is where I store my clear jelly head stamper. And the two replacement heads for it. So that's all of that. I've got to do some rearranging because I've gotten in some new stampers and some more plates. So that's all that's in the second or the middle drawer. Okay. And this is in the top drawer. As you can see right here, I have my sponges, which I haven't used. Um, you can do ombre with this and the sponge holder. And some more little holders. <clears throat> Up here is the Salon Express, which I never use. <clears throat> I think it's absolutely awful. But I just wanted to have one. <clears throat> and here's some more. Of these I have a ton of these um, this is my Conad dupe or the fake the fake Conad here are my real Conads and over here are all my scrapers these are the ones that I absolutely never use And these are all of my scraper cards. This is my favorite. This one and the Uber Cheap <clears throat> are my two favorites. So as you can see, that's what I have in the top drawer. Okay. Alrighty, now we're going to lock that back up. See if I can anyway. Now, I'm going to do the top part. And I want to mention that I did purchase <coughs> two of these. I got one from Hobby Lobby. This one came from Hobby Lobby. And the other one that I have came from Michaels. And they both were 40% off. So I couldn't resist. This is where I keep my plates in here. And my um, buffer 
and my one I keep my cotton cloth and my polishes that I use for stamping and here are some more of my plates this one came in there it is I don't know if I showed this one already but these are the other ones that I have and I'm gonna come back with another video because I have some more stamping plates and some more stampers that I wanted to show but that's the way this is how I store all of my stamping items in this and I want to give a shout out to Mr. Wanda Barton for this wonderful idea and it does really work and this is the second one that I purchased I'm going to do a little rearranging I think this is the one that came from Michaels I haven't filled this one up yet I just got the tabs in there and in this middle one oops, it's kind of difficult when you're working with one hand but we'll get it. I just have my lint rollers in here so far so that's basically all that I have in this one right now if you can see and let me see if I can get this one and put it back up in there but yeah let me see I don't have anything up in this or not oh yes I do I have in this I have all of my um, all of my design stuff I've got my crosses and my chains for my nails and my stickers my letters all of these um, the rhinestones and all of these my wheels and in fact oh here is it's the latest one I've gotten in I just got this one in uh, yesterday it's got black rhinestones So I plan to do something with those. And that's about it right now. But I will be back with another video to show the new stampers that I have in. And, uh, yeah, some more stamping plates that I've gotten in. All right. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.